Beast of Bodmin Moor, British Big Cat of Cornwall. Physical Description Leopard sized and black. Behavior Kills livestock. Distribution Bodmin Moor, Cornwall, England. Significant Sightings a large cat-like creature attacked Jane Fuller on October 26th, 1993, while she was walking her Labrador dog on Bodmin Moor. She was temporarily stunned by a blow to the head, but escaped. Later, two sheep were found dead in an adjoining field. One was decapitated, the other disemboweled. An investigation from January 12th to July 1st, 1995, by the British Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food, failed to turn up any conclusive evidence of a resident large cat. The inquiry looked at 77 reports of a puma-like or leopard-like cat and livestock killings recorded in the Bodmin Moor area between January 1994 and June 1995. The investigators, Simon Baker and Charles Wilson, determined that videos taken of the beast showed nothing more than black domestic cats. A film showing an alleged panther's cub's face close up was only a cat's, since its pupils contracted to a slit, not to a circle like a leopard's would have. The tracks were only cat-sized, except for one that was attributable to a dog, and the kills were probably perpetrated by a medley of dogs, foxes, crows, and badgers. A skull found in the River Fowey, near St. Clear, Cornwall, on July 24, 1995, turned out to be from an imported leopard skin rug. Another investigation in December 1997 was prompted by a bite mark on livestock, droppings, and new photos one of which was taken through binoculars near St. Austell, Cornwall, and apparently shows a pregnant adult female puma and a cub. Water Tiger Aquatic Saber-Toothed Cat of South America Physical Description Size of a Jaguar or slightly larger Two large, protruding teeth. Fawn. Yellowish. Black. White. Brown. Or reddish, unmarked coat. Bushy tail. Behavior. Nocturnal. Attacks humans. Distribution. French Guyana. Colombia. Morona Santiago Province, Ecuador, Emapa State, Brazil, Paraguay, Southern Argentina. Significant Sightings In the 19th century, William Bolert found sculptured stones at Timana, Colombia, showing a cat with large teeth. Manuel Palacio claimed that cave paintings in the Lago Posadas area, Santa Cruz Province, Argentina, depict a saber-toothed cat attacking an extinct, long-necked animal with an elongated, taper-like snout, possibly an odd-toed lightopterne ungulate that ultimately died out in the Pleistocene before the arrival of humans. In the 1950s, a sailor named Piquet described to Peter Mathiasen a jaguar-sized cat with large protruding teeth that lived in the jungles of Colombia and Ecuador. In 1975, a mutant jaguar with 12-inch fangs was shot in Paraguay. A zoologist named Juan Acavar examined it and suggested it might be a surviving Smilodon. Juan Bautista Rivadinera saw a water tiger at the mouth of the Rio Hurumbino, Ecuador, in 1989. It was black, with short legs and a cow-like tail. Possible Explanations 1. 
The giant otter is cat-like, but it has distinct splotches of cream and brown on its throat. 2. A surviving saber-toothed cat, a genus of large cats that lived in the late Pleistocene, 11,000 years ago. These animals averaged 4 feet long, had short tails and large heads, and huge canines in the upper jaw. Smilodon was the only saber-toothed carnivore that migrated to South America from the north. 3. A surviving marsupial saber-tooth, which had been in South America since the Miocene, 15 million years ago, and was displaced by the migrating saber-toothed cats. It was about the size of a jaguar, and had a short tail and canines that were actually longer than Smilodon's. Its lower jaw had bony flanges where the upper fangs rested. 'Queensland Tiger, cat-like marsupial of Australia. Physical description: heavier build than a domestic cat. Length: 4 to 5 feet, including the tail. Shoulder height: 1 foot 6 inches. Short, coarse hair. Fawn or gray coat with 2.5 inch black stripes encircling the body and tail. Round, cat-like head, large in proportion to its body. Green eyes. Pointed ears. Prominent incisors. Short legs. Large paws with long front claws. Long tail. Behavior. Arboreal. Has a savage disposition when cornered. Makes growling whines, snarls, and roars. Wallabies are its favorite food, though it also attacks livestock. Tracks. Elongated toe pads set more or less in a row. The same size as a large dog's. Grooming claws are evident. Habitat. Rocky, forested areas. Distribution. Queensland, especially in the coastal ranges. In northern Queensland, from Cairns to Cardwell. In southeastern Queensland, from Bigenden to Tambourine Mountain. Significant sightings. The 13-year-old son of a police magistrate, Brinsley G. Sheridan, encountered and treed a striped cat near Cardwell, Queensland, on August 2, 1871. His dog annoyed it, whereupon it became savage and rushed down the tree at them. Sheridan became frightened and went home. Robert Arthur Johnstone and a group of native police came across a large animal in a tree west of Cardwell in 1872. It jumped to another tree and came down tail first. It was fawn-colored, with darker markings, and had a long, thick tail, and a rounded head with no visible ears. Johnstone found its lair, which was littered with the crushed bones of rock wallabies. Accounts of Queensland tigers being killed were frequent in the early 20th century, though no pelts or skeletons were retained. J. McGeehan's dogs killed one at Kyrie in 1900. J. R. Cunningham and his dogs killed another at Gucci sometime before 1926. A cat the size of a sheepdog was killed after it raided a hen house at the head of the Mulgrave River around 1929. And A. W. Blackman and others shot one in the Cardwell Range in 1932. In May or June 1940, Nigel and Charlie Tut were hiking on Mount Stanley when they rounded a bend and saw a large cat sunning itself on a pine stump. They stopped about 20 feet away from it and noted that it was reddish with dark brown stripes all over its body and legs. It looked at them coolly for about 20 seconds and then bounded away. A man named Gamer was riding through the brush near Bidwell, Queensland in 1954, 
when he surprised a large gray cat with dark orange stripes. He was struck by its savage nature and large fangs. From 1970 to 1973, naturalist Janice Plunkett collected more than 100 reports of this creature throughout Queensland. Mike Jones ran across a black-striped, panther-sized animal feeding on a dead calf in the mountains near Mariba, Queensland, in 1983. On May 30th, 1987, Greg Calvert found tracks larger than a dingo's near Hewenden, Queensland, and followed them for several hundred yards. They showed the grooming claws of a marsupial. Present status. Tony Healy and Paul Cropper consider the animal extinct, the victim of strychnine baits intended for dingoes. Rex Gilroy thinks it may persist, based on recent sightings. Possible explanations. 1. A surviving marsupial lion, a leopard-sized arboreal marsupial that lived as recently as 10,000 years ago is a good candidate. Its paws were finger-like, with pseudo-opposable thumbs, each bearing a huge claw, and designed for climbing trees. It had two huge incisors, and two pairs of blade-like carnassial teeth that gave it a distinct, though not necessarily cat-like, look. Marsupial lion fossils have been found in localities across Australia, including at Darling Downs in Queensland. 2. The thylacine, even if it were shown to persist on the mainland, is too dog-like, and its stripes are only on its back. Moreover, it does not climb trees. The tiger's tusk-like teeth, curved claws, leopard-like growl, and long tail are also unlike a thylacine. 3. The spotted-tailed quoll is also called a tiger cat, but it is spotted, looks more like a weasel, and is not very fierce. Its body length is 2 feet, and its tail is 1 foot 6 inches long. 